You joined Wolves in 1972, Stevie, and that, that came about after Bill McGarry saw you perform against Wolves, Burnley for, against Wolves, and that he, he was determined to get you down here as a player after that performance. Which game was that? The uh, FA Cup tie, um, Burnley beat Wolverhampton Wanderers in the January of 1972. I played against Derek Parkin, had a very good game against Screek. You joined Huddersfield Town, where I'm, I'm led to believe you made a little bit of history that's still, that's still intact today. Yeah, we played Shrewsbury Town in the FA Cup. After uh, about five minutes before the interval, Andy Rankin, our goalkeeper, fractured his skull, hitting his head against the post. He, uh, actually, Andy was brain damaged, and he still is to this day. Never played again. I went in goal just for three or four minutes, I was thinking. Um, we were one nil down at the time. After about an hour of the game, I conceded a goal, so we're now two nil down. The manager wanted to have me up front to try and get a goal back. So Mark Lillis went in goal, and he conceded a goal. <laughs> so we lost three nil. We had three goalkeepers, and each of us let one goal in. Right, not, not many people will know this. Back in the 70s, there was a programme on television to find out Britain's fastest footballer, and you took part in that programme. And I'm led to believe you, you had a record number of wins. Yeah, I won it, I raced in it seven times, and I won it seven times. What was your fastest, what was your fastest record? It was 100 metres, it was at Meadowbank Stadium, Edinburgh. I did the 100 metres, Steve, in 10.7. Blimey, mate, that is, that is absolutely quick. And now, now you're, you're, you're an incredibly successful after dinner, dinner speaker. I know that because I've seen you, I've worked with you. And you was voted Soccer Speaker of the Year how many years in a row? Five, five times Soccer Speaker of the Year. So you won that race seven years in a row and you were voted Soccer Speaker of the Year five years in a row. It's a pity you weren't that consistent when you played here, to be honest with you, mate. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, former Wolves player Steve Kinden. Can I, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, um, a very good friend of both Steve and myself passed away yesterday, a Wolverhampton Wanderer supporter, a lad called Alan Murray from Cannock. Um, he, when he retired from work, he bought himself a boat and he sailed it round the world. And he called the boat the Wanderer after his favorite club. And I'd just like everybody to think of him tomorrow and I, my thoughts are with Alan and his family. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.